hello guys welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be an eyebrow tutorial I always get comments on my videos and I'm like really proud of this um, that everyone says my eyebrows look really nice in the tutorials I do and the videos I do and eyebrows were one of the hardest things for me to get the hang of when I first started doing makeup I feel like there's so many techniques to use there's pomade there's pencils there's powders there's so many different ways you want furry do you want this do you want the weird squigglies like it was just so difficult for me finding the correct shade of eyebrow pencil and it was difficult for me finding out how to fill in my eyebrows because I have problem areas on each eyebrow. So personally for me, I find it easiest to use a pencil. And the pencil I like to use is the It Cosmetics Brow Power. It is a universal brow pencil and that might not fit every single person's shade. I think it's good for my hair because it is kind of like a weird in-between soft brown, deep brown. Some days it's lighter, so I think that it just fits my brows really really nicely and I love the applicator um, the actual tip of the thing because it's an oval and it's not a small little circle I used to use a micro brow pencil and I just didn't like the way it applied to my eyebrows I just felt it it was uneven um, I would get different eyebrows every day maybe that's just because I'm just not good with micro brow pencils um, but I have really found a, a home <laughs> and a staple in this brow pencil. I've actually repurchased it a second time from getting this in a BoxyCharm. It's also difficult to find brow gel because some are fibered, some are not fibered, some are liquidy, some are stiff. It depends on what you want for your brows. So I personally use the ColourPop one. Yeah, the Brow Boss gel. So this is gonna be kind of a quick video. I'm trying to pre-film because my boyfriend comes home to, on Monday um, and he's only home for about three weeks before he goes off again to be another amazing actor and live his dream and you know make me so proud so yeah let me just stop babbling and let's just get into this okay so i'm starting with the brow pencil and i'm just uncapping the one side and i am spooling my brows the way that i want them to sit once they're filled with gel so i can see where the problem areas are so in this brow i actually have a patch of no hair in the be in the front of it so i'm trying to draw out the bottom of it and then i will be filling in that little patch because I have less hair in the front of my brows here. So I'm just going to try to make them look a little bit fuller by adding a bit of brow pencil to the areas where I don't have a lot. And I'm just using very light pressure. And now I am filling in the arch of my brow, which again I do have a little bit of an issue with here on this brow. But I'm using very soft, light weight to press down on this pencil because I don't want my brows to look unnatural. I just want them to look like they are my brows. And I am now fixing the tail because I, you know, just want a nice tail. And as you can see, this color really does fit my brows nicely. And here I am trying to fix my arch yet again. So now that I have the shape that I want, I'm just going back in with the spoolie to make sure I'm not missing any areas. Um, now I'm just using the other side. I have a nice bit of hair right over here But as you can see I put a little bit too much pressure, so it was a little too fake for me. So I actually am going to fix that And now I'm just drawing it backward And I am getting an arch on the side too. Now I'm going back in with the spoolie to soften up the edges of what I just made on my eyebrow Again, I want this to look as natural as possible, so I'm just taking my time using very light pressure and filling in the sparse areas. I don't have a tail really on this eye, so I'm just taking the time to very lightly press and flick and give myself a natural looking haired brow. And uh, I went back in and found that spot that was a little too sparse for me, and I'm just filling that in as well. It's just a lot of filling sparse areas, but this is a method that works for me the best. Now I'm going in with some ColourPop eyebrow gel and I'm pretty much just putting the majority of this at the front of my brow and then pushing this backward. This does have a bit of a white like t cast to it but if you just go over it a few times it helps and since I already put my brows in the way I want them to set it makes it even easier to set with my eyebrow gel because everything is right there and ready for me. I literally just mapped it out for my eyebrow gel so I'm just doing that now and uh, spending a lot of time in the front of my brows. And here's my finished eyebrows. 
Okay, and that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to. There's never any pressure. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.